Hi, welcome to Hardware Info. Now I'm gonna show you how to change sampling rate on Razer Sarin V3 mini microphone. Uh, to change uh, sampling rate, you should have uh, the Razer Synapse application on your device. You can open it by uh, open hidden apps and here find Razer Central and click launch Synapse or just find uh, Synapse app by using the search on your Windows. Okay, uh, of course, there is. Uh, if you don't have this application, you should have. Uh, you should install this app. Uh, to do that, just find Razer Synapse in, in in Google, and it's very easy to install it. If you don't know how to do that, you can watch our video about it. So here on the upper part of uh, Razer Synapse application, click Streaming. If uh, your Razer microphone is not visible here right now, so just disconnect your Razer microphone from your uh, laptop or or PC and connect it again. Wait a while and here you will see streaming. And cool, microphone is available here right now. And here as you can see we have uh, sampling rate and we can change it. So 8 kilohertz suitable for basic voice communication such as telephony where high uh, fidelity is not required. It captures all the essential frequencies for speech and because of it sound uh, will be good even in poor connection. Uh, your interlocutor will hear you uh, call even when you have poor connection, but maybe now at times uh, poor connection is really, is rarely happens. So uh, I just want to tell you about it, but but maybe it's not useful uh, mode. Uh, 16 kilohertz often used in voice over IP application, providing better clarity than 8 kilohertz while still focusing on speech frequencies. So we don't uh, use this mode too. 32 kilohertz uh, adequate for uh, FM radio quality and some digital video applications. So in 32 kilohertz we can uh, record sound. It offers a balance between file size and quality, suitable for speech and low quality music recordings, but here is uh, the best modes, 44 and 48 kilohertz. So 44, this is the standard for CDs capturing the full range of human hearing. It's widely used for music and general audio recording. 48, common in video production, professional audio work, uh, it provides um, slightly higher fidelity than 44 and 1 kilohertz and is often use, used in film and broadcast, for example. So if you want to broadcast in, so it's a very good idea to enable this mode. And 96 kilohertz used for higher resolution audio recordings, capturing more detail and nuance. It's ideal for professional music production and archival purposes, but our microphone is not uh, professional mic, uh, but uh, so you, I, I, I think you will not hear. So I can't hear the difference between 48 kilohertz and 96 kilohertz uh, using this microphone. I, I, I really can't uh, identify the difference between these three modes, but. Uh, the size uh, will be different. So when you record in 96, the size of a uh, video file, you're recording in OBS, really huge. Um, and really it's difficult to understand why it's too big and sometimes it, it can be really big. So I suggest you to choose between these three, uh, but I think that the most optimal a uh, way to record sound in streams, uh, playing games, uh, is 48 kilohertz. But if you have poor connection, so maybe 32 kilohertz will be better for you. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Hope this video was helpful for you. And bye. See you.